What's going on you guys? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning back into another video. I'm still a little bit sick, so if I sound stuffed up, that is why I think my voice sounds a lot better than it did a couple days ago when I recorded that video for the Philadelphia Flyers, because holy, I sounded rough in that video. But I'm feeling a little bit better, slowly and surely. But in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Anaheim Ducks jersey that is coming out. It's their home jersey, but it has the patch on it. It has both patches on it. You guys might be confused what patches I'm even talking about, one of which is their anniversary patch, which I believe I made a video on, but we get to look at it on the jersey. And then one is their new jersey ad. So obviously we're not happy about jersey ads. I will briefly talk about it, but the main focus is going to be on the patches on the jersey. And I just want to point something out to you guys. Of course, before we get into it though, as always, if you guys are new to the channel, it'd mean a lot if you guys subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. If we could get to around 2,000 subscribers by the next NHL season, that would be absolutely incredible. I got some kind of videos planned for the summer here. I got to come up with some more, but I have kind of some planned that I think is going to be really cool. It would be awesome if you guys hit the subscribe button and like the video if you enjoyed. Let's get into this. So this is the photo that was posted actually of the Anaheim Ducks jersey. I'm uploading this a little bit later today here on, I think it's Wednesday today. And this was posted here today. I think it was at 9, 9.40 a.m. That's really early, first of all. But take a look at the jersey. I'm going to be honest, this jersey, like the Ducks jerseys, their home jersey, a lot of people hate their home jerseys. And honestly, rightfully so, I totally understand why people hate them. But I don't think here it looks that bad. Maybe I need to get this jersey in person so I can see it and actually be a full judge. I have their away jersey and I don't like it whatsoever, but I kind of want their home jersey. Okay, that's besides the point that's talking about the jersey. Let's talk about the patches. I think their 30th anniversary patch is really nice. I think it's a really good tribute to kind of their old school Mighty Ducks logo with the this one right here. This logo, it's a good tribute to that, but also kind of keeping it new because they have the current D duck foot logo in there as well, which I don't like and a lot of people don't like. But all in all, I think the patch looks really sharp. Then we have the Jersey ad on there. Now it's for Western National Property Management. And I guess it's a three year deal that they are signing with this, which is interesting. I can't remember. I could be wrong. And maybe some of you guys can let me know in the comments, but I can't remember of hearing about this kind of info on other teams, Jersey partners. And maybe I just didn't read into it. And this is the first time I'm doing so, but I don't know how long some other teams are signed for like the Canucks and TD, for example, I have absolutely no idea how long the Canucks and TD are just signed for to have their ads on the Canucks jerseys. I have absolutely no idea. But here it looks like it's three years. I also don't know if it's going to be home jerseys or away jerseys. All it says here is that it's an official partner of the Anaheim Ducks and will be the first ever partner patch to have on the logos featured on Ducks game jersey. So I don't know if this is home and away. I know some teams do that. Like I don't think the Florida Panthers are a great example. They don't have their jersey ad on their home jersey just on their away one so that's a prime example of teams who do that i think vegas is the same because we saw it in the cup final that every time they played in vegas there was jersey ads and then when they played in florida there wasn't so maybe they won't be on their away jersey all i wonder here now is I, first of all let's talk about the ad because i actually don't think it looks that bad i know i don't want to dive into it and spend a lot of time on it because like i said in the philadelphia flyers jersey video it's just all the same old same old everyone doesn't want them there and it just is what it is i don't think this actually looks that bad i think the silver actually still kind of fits in with their brand a little bit the blue is obviously a little bit off-putting there it definitely doesn't fit with this current color scheme that they're using here but all in all i don't think it's that bad what I'm curious of is look how many like patches and just logos are put onto this jersey. We can count them out together. Let's have some fun. We got the main crest, the Anaheim Ducks D foot logo there. We have two shoulder patches and then we have the two, just the ad patch and their anniversary patch. That is way too many. And we're com completely forgetting about one patch, the captaincy patch. Where in the world is that going to go? Where's the assistant captain patch going to go? Are they going to have to like move that 30th patch over and then put like the captain one next to it? That's just going to look so bunk. I think they're, they're going to have to do something where you just have three patches in a line there. It's going to go like captain, 30th anniversary, then jersey ad. And that's going to look absolutely ridiculous. So I'm definitely intrigued to see this. I'm kind of surprised they decided not to put that 30th anniversary patch 
on one of the shoulders and just ditch one of their logos i think that would have been fine like keeping one shoulder patch normal and then one the 30th anniversary i'm kind of surprised they didn't go that route here and decided to just put it on the front of the jersey or even on the sleeve i know that's not really the most fitting for their jerseys but i think it would still look a little bit better than it will when we have both of these and in a captain patch and an assistant captain patch because that's just going to be absolutely ridiculous to me it's a shame because I think that 30th anniversary patch looks really good on the front of the jersey. It would be nice if it was on the proper side and that ad wasn't there, obviously. But I, all in all, like I think that jer that logo looks really good on this jersey. Maybe it could use a little bit more orange in the design just to fit the jersey. But all in all, I don't think it's that bad. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. This was a bit of a quick video. I just kind of want to talk about this and kind of just point out how many patches are on this thing and what this thing is going to look like when it's got the assistant captain patch and just the regular captain patch on there it's going to be ridiculous this is a patch full jersey for sure okay so and then before i actually leave here and finish this video i have another thing to talk about so if you have the 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 ad there and then you have the anniversary patch here and the captain patch next to it let's say someone like me for example goes out and buys this jersey and i want to get the 30th anniversary patch put on it is it wrong for me to put it on the side the ads on the opposite from where the the captain patch is or do i technically have to put it on the same side even though i don't have the ad on there like what's considered right and what's considered technically wrong in this situation because i know there's some people out there who really are serious about wanting their jerseys to look like on ice and if that's the case buy the jersey with the patch but like if i put that 30th anniversary patch on the what side is that the right side and then put the captain patch on the left am i gonna get memed like am i gonna be an idiot and technically have done it wrong if i decide to do that let me know i'm actually genuinely curious about that so let me know comment down below but yeah thank you guys so much for watching as always it would mean a lot if you guys subscribed like the video if you enjoyed i'll talk to you in the next one Peace.